Homecoming almost didn't happen, but the weather cleared, so the court came out to be honored, and Sonorville trekked to Polk for a region matchup. Phoenix and Jackets face off in this latest episode of Four and Out. Here we go, it's first down. Sonorville on a drive, Jackets up 7-0, and the defense steps up as Chaz Pate throws into coverage, and a bad ball gets bounced around and into the arms of Cannon Jones, who takes it to the house. Pick six action for Jones. Let's watch this one again in slow-mo because it took a few watches to figure out what happens. Pate puts up a pass towards the sidelines looking to connect with Braxton McMahon and it looks like he got a hand on it before he was knocked for a loop and the ball went to a waiting Jones who found himself with a wide open run to score a second jacket touchdown late in the first quarter. Rockmar up 14-0. Second down, and we're back in the second quarter. Sonorville drive, stalls, and check out this punt returned by Tristan Anderson. He dances down the sideline hashes and pushes down Javier Siqueiros, gets tangled into a block thrown on Elijah Woods, and gets knocked out for a big game to set up a scoring play later in this drive. Jackets got it going on. It's third down. Hagen sharp under center. He makes the handoff to Cortez Wright, who almost scores on this power run down the field, being dragged down in the end by Sonorville's Corbin Dixon. Wright was looking for a flag for the tackle that saved the score. It didn't stop the Jackets from adding another TD on the board with a fresh set of downs. Time is running out for the Phoenix. It's fourth down. Jackets on defense. Sonoraville are desperate to add to the scoreboard as Pate looks to put up one more scoring drive, but he can't find an open man on the pass play and gets brought down from behind trying to scramble as Jim Miracle Hodges makes the tackle to bring their chances to an end as the running clock was ticking down and the Jackets finished off homecoming night with a 42-7 win. Rockmart advances to 4-2 on the season with the win are leading the region at 4-0 and have a bye week ahead of them before they face the second place team in 7AA North Cobb Christian. This one could end up being the de facto 7AA title game as the Jackets sit ahead of the Eagles by just a single win. Congrats to homecoming queen Cheyenne Jordan crowned at halftime during Friday's win. More on that on PolkToday.com. Thanks for watching this episode of Four and Out. I'm Kevin the Editor and I'll be seeing you on the sidelines in the next one.